The Prime Minister has a whole series of unanswered questions on this issue. And the, the most important of those, in my view, is this question about the specific information that was passed to him by the Guardian newspaper or passed to his staff. Now, we don't yet know, fully from Downing Street, the chain of events. But we do know that there is an admission that Mr Hilton, his senior aide, talked to Ian Katz of The Guardian about the specific allegations about Mr Jonathan Rees, that he was a convicted criminal, that The Guardian had ed evidence that he was paying, uh, facilitating the payment of police on behalf of news organisations, uh, and that he also happened to be on trial, um, uh, on trial for a further offence. But now, as I also understand it, Mr Hilton passed that to Mr Llewellyn, now, these were very serious allegations and, and very serious evidence that was being presented by the Guardian newspaper. Mr. Cameron said in his press conference on Friday, I believe in answer to a question from Nick Robinson, I, I had no specific uh, information. But he did have specific information, or at least his chief of staff had specific information. He needs to now explain, because I cannot explain the version of events that Mr. Cameron has so far put forward. On the, on the, so, so my point is, are you saying that he lied about news conference? What, what I'm saying is that his, his account of events doesn't add up. Now, I'm not going to throw around allegations. What I'm going to say is the Prime Minister must explain his position because, frankly, his current explanation doesn't add up. Now, on your second question about, uh, uh, about B-Sky B, look, let, let me be clear about this. We've always said in relation to B-Sky B it was a matter for the Competition Commission, uh, and that continued, continued to be our position. Uh, and, indeed, that's what I said to the Prime Minister uh, on Wednesday of last week at Prime Minister's Questions, there should be a referral uh, to the Competition Commission. Now, in the light of what has happened uh, under, uh, as a result of these new allegations, I think that the process that the government had embarked on with Jeremy Hunt on the basis of specific assurances from News Corporation has been thrown further into question. It's been thrown further into question because there is such a mountain of evidence that News International gave assurances uh, about phone hacking, assurances which turned out not to be correct. There is also a second question, just let me finish the point. There's now a second question which, is, which has come into view, if you like, which is the fit and proper person test. Because the culture and practices at News International, following the revelations last week, now look to be so widespread and so systemic that I think there is an important question. And, and look, this ends up in a simple place. And the simple place is this, that I won't rest until we ensure that this deal cannot go ahead until after criminal investigations are complete.